Standard Chartered Mobile and Online Banking Services. A one-stop shop for all your banking needs. Hello guys, Distro here and welcome back to this channel. If you are new here, please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive more content like this. In today's tutorial, we are going to look at how to create a bank account using the standard chartered app. First of all, go to Play Store or App Store and search for SC Mobile Ghana app. Now download the app and wait for it to install. Now let's open the app and sign up with our details. Now you click on get started. It will take you to the next page. Then you select I'm new to Standard Chartered Bank. Now here we select our account type. There are three major types of accounts. We have the current account, we have the fixed deposit account and we have the savings account. But here we are going to select the EU account which is under current account. Now these are all the requirements for this bank account. So you need to make sure you have all these available before you can proceed with the registration. Note that you should be 18 years and above with a valid national ID card which is the Ghana card before you can register for this bank account. Now let's go ahead and start the application process. So the first step is to enter your full legal name. After that, they will request for your mobile number and WhatsApp number. Now, the reason why they are requesting for the WhatsApp number is that they are going to call you on video call for extra verification. So make sure you provide the correct mobile number and WhatsApp number. Now enter your email address. Make sure it is a valid email address that you have access to before you click on next to proceed. An OTP code will be sent to the number that you entered. So you enter that 6 digit code and press on submit. Now you need to select your nationality. After choosing your nationality, you need to select one of these identification below. For some reasons, when I use the Ghana card, they later messaged me to tell me that the Ghana card identification process is delaying. So if I have a driver's license, I should provide it. Once I did that, it was verified immediately. Now you need to take a selfie to verify your identity. There will be instructions to follow to take the correct selfie for the verification. Now you need to take a photo of the national ID that you selected, both the front and the back of the ID. Now you also turn the back of your ID and take a picture. After taking those pictures, everything will be uploaded onto the I server. All the detail that was generated from your ID card will be displayed to you to rectify it of any error. So if there's a mistake in your name, change it, your date of birth, you can change it. Now they will need you to enter more details about yourself, so make sure you enter the correct details. Here, they want to know more about your employment, but if you're a student, there's an option available for students. Now they will need your residential address and your residential post office box number. This account comes with a free visa card so they will need your post office number so that they can send a visa card to your location for you to go and take it. So make sure you enter a correct post office box. Now this is the exciting part. 
this account provides you with a free visa debit card free you are not going to pay anything for this card it's totally free now you need to scroll down and state your purpose for this bank account select general or personal transactions and click next they would like to know how you are going to use your account including the monthly deposit and monthly withdrawal Here yeah, they would like to know your tax information. So you are going to enter your TIN number. But you can also use your Ghana card number as your TIN number since now it's all linked together. Here yeah, you need to take a picture of any document displaying your address to confirm your residential address. They will also need your signature, so get a piece of paper, sign your signature on it and take a picture. We are done with the registration. Now we need to go through our information and cross check if everything is correct. If everything is okay, you click on next. If everything is okay and there's no corrections, you agree to the terms and conditions and you click on next. Now we have completed the whole registration. We need to wait for two working days to receive a call from the bank. They will also call you on a video call to verify your identification card. So make sure you have it with you when they call. After completing all the verification process on the video call, they will send you a temporary login which you can use to log in into the application to access your bank account. After that, you can change it to your preferred login. That's the security one. After receiving your temporary logins, you log in into the account and reset your login so that only you can access the account. Now you click on this button to enter your temporary logins. And then you choose register with temporary ID and SMS PIN. Now input the temporary logins, accept the terms and conditions and click next. Now you enter your new user ID and password and click on next. Congratulations, we have now registered our standard chartered online banking account. Now you can log in this account with your new details. I waited 15 days for my Visa card. They will either call you to come for it or the Ghana Post Service rider will bring it to you. In our next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to activate the Visa debit card. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to receive more content like this. See you in the next video.